Each kid is an individual when they come here. They're not part of a whole team. We take an interest in that one individual. Every single one of them, we want to get to the top level that they're capable of getting to. You know, I came here, a hockey player who had dreams and, and goals, but I was always a little worried about my skating and if I would be able to keep up. I can say now from skating here over the years that I'm better than myself as a hockey player and a person. I think Darnell came here probably at 10 or 11. The strength of his game has always been his skating and I think that's attributed to being here. They have the great ability to look at an athlete, understand the, his training regimen, understand what's going to make him a better player. Hence Darnell's in the NHL. Well I really love all of the coaches and all the staff, how they're really like nice and kind and when you're on the ice how they always push you and um, help you keep on going to get you better and better each day. They're really good coaches and they know me really well as a player. They can fix one of my bad habits really quickly. Learning edges, transitions, quick starts, fast feet. We even do some shooting here and, and just the improvement in shooting and the level of skating over the past 10 years has been phenomenal. So if you're serious and dedicated about getting better, this is definitely the place to be. We take hockey players from as young as two years old. The two-year-olds that come out with us, they are able to separate from mom and dad. The common age is around four or five years old that, that kids will start with us. We start them in the Learn to Skate program. Once they're up and moving, we have two pathways they can take. They can take the more recreational pathway or they can take the more development rep side. When they go the rep side of things, they'll see more of Michelle and I and that's when we start instilling discipline and coaching techniques and styles and getting them used to being coached and, and being brought up through the hockey systems so that when they do finally get to an age, there's no culture shock to them because they know what's expected of them. All of my programs are, are skating skills based. All of Ryan's programs are more towards uh, the acceleration, the puck movement, hockey sense. We also have a coach that focuses on their hands. The programs that I'm personally involved in, we work on everything in those programs, from skating to puck handling to shooting. It's a perfect blend here because it's, you know, you take the edge work you learn with Michelle and she breaks it down and you learn, get on your toes, you know, quick feet. And then you go with Ryan Greg and you, you use those with the pucks and you use it to drive to the net and take the puck around the cones and the quicker I can get them, the better it is for myself. When they seem to be outgrowing the program that they're in, we'll put them into the next program and then the next program. You'll see some kids, for example, Darnell Nurse, when he came in, he started in one program but just excelled and we would just push him up through the programs. Greg was able to say, okay, well this kid needs to be able to do this or here's where his deficiencies are now. So let's work on his deficiencies and get those better. So I think it was identifying those points to make a kid better and identifying them early, understand who that kid is, understand that kid's family, understanding the mentality of that kid. Everyone who's talked to me about training with Greg, they said he can get something out of me that other coaches can't. He is able to motivate, but stay strict, stay strong with the players. You just see them excel with him. I think Michelle is the best edge coach around. Like the way she teaches edges, the way she breaks things down, she really digs deep into the technical aspects of skating. Being a big tall defenseman, I think it's really important to have quick feet and a better skating. So with Michelle especially, she really pushed me to get on my edges and uh, work on my explosive skating. And I think I've definitely grown in that aspect of the game. Ryan, on the other hand, was an extremely strong skater. He brings a lot of our skating acceleration. He takes what Michelle works on and then takes it to another level. Ryan makes it fun, but he's hard on them too, but he lets the music play and, you know, and the kids really enjoy being out there because it's like being out there with one of the guys, but you're learning all the time. It's really nice to see their progression from day one when they walked in here. Now here's a kid that came here when he was 10 years old, a top 10 pick in the, in the National Hockey League, has seen a lot of trainers. At the end of the day when he said, you know, I want to take my game to another level, where'd he come? He came back to the pond, he came back home.